Hey guys, my name is Sidney Egg and welcome back to another episode of Lumber Tycoon. Well, in the last episode, guys, we created this beautiful uh, one by one sawmill setup where the wood comes through here, gets processed into a one kind of one by one kind of like setup. Goes through here, hold on, uh, where it gets housed and it goes up a slide ramp, chopped down into little small one by one bits. It is amazing. It is really, really good. So it's currently really, really dark right now. And we're going to do some pretty cool things today. Now, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this episode and want me to continue Lumba Tycoon, make sure you hit the like button down below. But look at this. Look at these beautiful pieces. I mean, some of them aren't one by, one by ones because I see like the ends of like the, you know, the larger bits. But that is a beautiful piece there. Let's take this piece here and let's just see. I'm hoping this is a one by one. This would be quite embarrassing if I picked up a smaller piece. Uh, but let's just kind of see. 85. So I've picked up an 85% piece. Damn it, Sandy you fool. Ah, these are the pieces that it chops. There we go. So you can see they're, they're a little bit more bigger than one by one. But perfect sizes to create what we need. Well, guys, it's 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 night time. In the morning it will soon be soon be coming. It is super dark. And what I want to do today then is finally finish the tower. The reason this tower has took so long is because, you know, the grind to get the wood and stuff. It's like, it's it's birch and it's, um, it's uh, what you call it, uh, lava wood. And lava wood's fine. You can get it easy, but birch wood, you have to get so much because it's only like skinny branches and trees. So I want to get enough. I want to try and finish this off and at least build a platform at the top and create. It's kind of like a lighthouse in a sense. That's basically what it is. So let's climb to the top, and we'll talk you through it, what we're going to be doing. Well, when I say we talk you through it, I kind of need to go up there and see what I need to do. So, oh man, the lights are beautiful in this place. So, it's kind of a weird design as you get past the, the second kind of balcony area. So once you get past this, there's no lights. But as you go up, you hit then the double red, the single white, and then we're going to have another double red. Now, the double red here is basically going to be halfway through it. Uh, no, at the top of the, the double... The double red. Uh, we're going to have then a, a, like a, an oak... Uh, not oak. A uh, birch platform. And then build a, like a, like a building on top of it. Not sure what color the building is going to be. Uh, but we're going to see. i got a ton of red uh, lava walls down there. Don't really have much uh, actual birch. So, we're going to have to go and get some. Which would be quite fun to do. So I got two terrible axes here. So I need to get my beautiful end times axe. So let's jump down. Whew, that was so high. I got a bunch of uh, end times over here anyway. So we're going we're gonna to grab those. We're going to grab those. So get rid of you. Get rid of you. And then we're going to... Boom. Pick you up. We got a beautiful end times. Right, sweet. So with the end times then, we're going to need uh, a trek. Uh, I said we're going to need a truck. There we go. We got the truck. I'll try and verse it out. This garage is all terrible, but this is something that, you know, it, everything in this base is a work in progress. Trust me. <laughs> Saying, yeah, it's been a work in progress for ages. Leave me alone, you devil. I will eventually get all this stuff done. Don't worry. Now we have a creative mode. Stuff like this can now actually get done. Right, so let's take a trick up to the uh, bottom of the volcano. Let's get some birch. Let's process it into the one by ones. And then we can start to build some walls and finish off the tower. The trailer is now full with wood, which is quite weird because it's the first time I've actually collected wood with this creative mode. So it, I'm, I'm, when I was like, getting it, collecting it, chopping down the trees, I'm like thinking, okay, this is a lot of wood here I've got here. It's going to make, so, you know... So, so many blueprints. I don't mind if that piece falls out. It's okay. It's going to make so many blueprints. And obviously, I'm not realizing that I have creative mode. It's going to make a ton of, of actual blueprints. But I've never actually kind of done this. So, normally, I would you know, I would have went back and picked up that piece that dropped. But i got to remind myself. Sediac, you've got creative mode. You're going to make so many blueprints just from one piece of this. Let alone two trailers worth of this wood. Which is going to be pretty exciting to see uh, what we can do with it. So I got a ton of lava wood anyway. Not only just in actual pre-built walls. But also, um, you know, we got some lying around uh, the actual base too. So I'm going to drop as much as I can in now. Probably all of it. I'm going to have to like, you know, chop the majority of it all up. 
Uh, some is chopped though. And then hopefully when I've got it all done, there should be a ton of small little one by ones all pre-processed. Which is going to be pretty exciting. So I'm going to get all the single pieces out now, process it all, chop up the other pieces, and then your boy is a rocking and a rolling. So, excuse me, get down, get down. There you go. Uh, right, so pick this up then. Chuck it down. I pretty much want to just get everything out of the truck. Throw it you, throw you. Ooh, that's a big piece. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually manually process that or chop it in half. I don't know. But this is actually this is this is a lot more birch than I originally thought I had. So, which which is good. Very good. Oh, do you need some help in hand there, dude? There you go. Got you up, man. Right, check it all out. Sayonara. Goodbye. Beautiful. Right, let's get all this process. Let's rise for the second time. I've got a lot of blueprints here, and as you can now see, all in this process section here is beautiful pieces of wood that will build walls in a single go. This is so cool. This is like legit so cool. So I'm just like gonna pull them all out. I feel like now this is happening, this whole system that I have like set up like normal. Because I had this saw bench here to like, you know, chop up the, the, the pre like the the, the post process wood. And I kind of don't need that saw bench no more. So I'm feeling kin. I need to create some form of setup at some point where it can like drop all the single pieces that have a certain length uh, somewhere. I don't know, but this is so, so much easier to now build stuff. These tiny pieces, which these probably wouldn't even have done like 10% normally, now are filling them up beautiful. Uh, so we have got ones of various length, but in general, they are pretty much one by ones, almost. Um, again, one by one is the minimum that you need to build these. Some of them are over it, fair enough, but we're doing it, guys, we're doing it. So I'm pretty much gonna, like, gonna build all of these, finish up, as you can see there, the, the, the first ring of the white wood, and then finish two layers of the lava wood. And then we'll think about actually building a small little structure on top, which is going to house. Um, I'm not sure where what to put in there, like a light or do I put, but, um, put in a, like a bunch of uh, the, the kind of the new pumpkins, uh, the green pumpkins. Do I do that instead? I don't know. We're going to see how this rocks and rolls. So that's probably like a, like a perfect one by one piece. And look at that. Boom. Just like that. So how far are we now then? I'm not sure how many I'm actually going to need in. Um, so let, let's... Uh, ooh, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Right, let's do this last one. Excuse me. There you go. Right, and let's try and get these pieces all the way up. Now, it is going to be quite difficult because that's as far as I can zoom out. And that's where all the stuff is going to be. So if I place them like that. And then we have to climb up there and do a better job. So it's going to be quite interesting. It's going to be very interesting to how we got to do this. It's quite weird how you, we can't place them down straight away as well. So let's see how this goes. Try and get as much of these as I can up. This is very difficult. I mean, you can see why I kind of want to put the structure on top of the two red ones. Because it's going to get even, really, even more harder to actually start building at such a height. Uh, excuse me. Get out so of here. Climbing up the ladders to the tower. And oh, I'm going to get it stuck. Oh, no, I fell down. Everybody did the flap right there. Oh, my goodness me. Right, so we're going to climb up there and we can see how far we can progress now. I did place a few of the lava walls up there as well. That'll kind of give me a good estimate to how much more I need to then send up. But look how just dark it gets up the higher we climb. It gets spooky. So there's the lava walls I've got there. And let's try and now move some of these right so let's zoom out and drop one there and we're gonna try and get these going all the way around which can at times be quite difficult because we're trying to navigate this whole thing i want to try and use the ones that are the furthest out because then you know it gets, it gets, it gets, it'll get very difficult when we're trying to place them all back in so I gotta, I gotta be careful. Oh, I, I need to jump too far there. Gotta be super careful right now. Right, okay. So another one down. 
And another one. Here we go. And another one. There you go, boy. Right, can I get these pieces here? So, do I have enough? I've got... Do you know what? I think I, I, I have the right amount of um, birch walls, white walls. I wasn't too sure if I was bringing the, the correct amount up. But it looks like it's going to be perfect. Right, let me uh, get that and then move myself. There you go. Move that one. Oh, I nearly had some problems. Like that. And then move this one. Do you know what? Oh, no! I was about to say, I haven't... I didn't even, like, kind of uh, work out how many birch walls I placed up there. But it's 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 perfect. It is perfecto. Right, there you go. God, that's such a... That's, that's getting, like, such a big drop right there. So, we got those up. And I know, you know, 100%, I don't have enough of these lava walls. But, again, these are purely here. So I can then, you know, understand how much I then need. So it's basically... Oh, how did I mess that up there? It's basically, right, you need four walls on each side. So that is a total of 16 walls to create a full ring around the tower. So I need 16 for the second layer. And then however many this doesn't fill up. And I know I've got enough down there. Wait, but the more luckily, is that going to be 16? I don't even know. So from what I can actually tell them, all right, that's it. Uh, I'm short six, so I'm going to need uh, 22 walls. Now, is that 22 down there? I don't think it is, but look how high the tower is now getting. It's getting beautifully high. So I don't believe this is going to be 22 walls. Fine, we can build more. But I just like how I've already got a bunch processed anyway. So, i got to try and place all these up here. 22 of them. And then put them in place before we then start doing the floor. Yeah. This tower is going to get very, very uh, difficult to build. I'm getting even higher and higher. The higher I get, the worse it gets. Two down, 22 right, go. i got two ladders here. Which I need to try and get up there as well. I've put a bunch of white walls up there again. Uh, so, I've got... Hold on. I'm having problems with this one. So I can build the floor. I've also done the ring of red. Just need four left to go up there, which I'll do that in just a moment. Because I want to get the flooring and stuff in first. So it's getting pretty dark again now. So hopefully we can do this before the sun sets. We're on a mission to race the sun. <laughs> Boom. Right, jumping, climbing. Here we go. Dancing. We're dancing. This is so good. Right, so we get to the top. And let me see if I can grab that first ladder. Rotate that and drop down. So put the ladders down first. Right, easy, easy, easy. I can't get this one on. Come on. You got it. You got it. There you go. Right, so we got the ladders on. We're going to do the flooring next. So we're going to turn this and rotate it and do all kinds of stuff. So boom, the first one is down. Boom. So is the second one. So uh, am I? Oh, no. I'm going to say am I able to get the ladder there. But it's a little bit tricky. A little bit difficult. We'll try to get down. There's, there's now a platform. So this should make it a little bit easier. But it is getting very, very dark and hard to see. So move this. Right. We'll pretty much go along in a line. And I'm not sure if we were using this one. Because I can't remember how I did the balconies further down. But pretty much... Or do I want to then, well, kind of basically build the building structure in the middle? Is it going to be a small one? Is it going to be a big one? I don't know. This is where a lot of questions now come up. Something I haven't really prepared for. So you want to rotate that. There you go. Like that. Gives me a gap there. And then two smaller pieces down either side. Perfect. Right. Okay. So we got that in them. Now the question is, do I create... Um, a, a balcony or do I create the building overlapping the the actual tower itself or am I creating like a small I think I'm creating like a smaller building like on top and will probably be, be the best bet uh, for this kind of lighthouse feature and if I'm doing that then I am going to need a balcony to enable us to get up and down now these balconies here they're pretty much they are a wall aren't they 
Yeah, there are walls width, and it goes along there, so two either side, right. Um, I'm not sure how many white walls I got left over, but you're gonna need, I'm gonna need eight altogether to finish that up. And I don't think I've got eight. No, you can tell that I haven't got eight. Um, but that's fine. We can make more. That's 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 the great thing about creative mode. Things, walls, everything just got a hell of a lot cheaper. So two there on that side. Move these. I do these back ones as well. Two here. Should we? Easy, easy, easy. Don't tell me I've just lost that piece. Don't even tell me I lost that piece, game. I've lost that piece. What is this game even doing? Right, it's pretty dark then. So what I try and do before the sun rises is try and finish off this balcony and get that last wall in there. And then we'll build like a smallish kind of um, structure. And all it's going to do is house a green pumpkin at the top to kind of be our little lighthouse. And then at some point in the future, uh, I'll kind of like do all... Um, Neon wires around like how we've done for the bottom on there. We'll do it this layer We'll do it this layer going all the way around as well to light it up pretty much like how we've done to the sign as well So it stands out in the night But let's get this done while it is currently dark. So whoa, I drop out on the floor Look at this beautiful progress that I've made pretty much done that all outskirts now There's a few little things I need to do on the corners here I got these little pieces that go on that kind of each the end there which look really really great I'm kind of working on how we will kind of place the pumpkin uh, kind of here So I got kind of these two here centered. I've uh, measured it all out. They're smack bag in the middle and I'm thinking that I do something like either stairs like if I did a stair I can squeeze one on now, like there, and then rotate that one there. Now, what it basically does, it creates that kind of pyramid effect, but it's level on the top where it can rest like a pumpkin on it. Uh, but is that the height? Maybe I want to go like an extra floor up. I'm gonna need some ladders though to actually <laughs> be able to place the pumpkin on. So I'm gonna need a few more things to actually get this done. So what I do then. Is I'll make two. I make two red stairs, and I make two extra uh, red walls, and uh, I need to make, create like a bunch of ladders as well. Wow! We're jumping all the times right now. So stair, stair. Uh, we need two normal walls, wall, wall, and we're gonna need then a bunch of of ladders. So we're gonna need four ladders all together. For me to be able to climb, no, f mate, no, I'm gonna need five ladders, aren't I? Well, no, we, um, I don't know. I'll make five just in case we see if we can get away with it. So, what have we got here then? Let's, uh, is this movable? Yeah, right. Let's, uh, let's quickly chop this up. Do I chop it up? Yeah, we might as well chop it up because it is lava wood. I only have small pieces of it, I mean, large pieces of it. Uh, excuse me, you're gonna toggle. What are you doing, you fool? Chop! There we go. I need to get that in the middle a bit more. Alrighty, nice! It's chopping it out up. So, because I haven't set up, I haven't had the, the kind of one by one sawmill set up for very long, actually creating pieces uh, or getting the one by ones, we don't have enough of. So, I'm gonna have to like rerun all the wood that I've ever kind of gotten through the one by one setup, just to get like a bunch of one by one, so I'm not wasting all the wood that I currently have. Right on now, I'm not gonna use lava wood on the stairs. Because we're gonna need, I mean, I mean on the ladder, sorry. We will, we will need a little bit of extra lava at some point. Why is it not chopping? There you go. Wait, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's rack it around. Right, drop that one down. And then we'll just, we'll just use like random color wood for the actual stairs. Stairs, ladders. Get more words mixed up today. I don't know what's going on. Right, toggle that off. And now uh, we, we take a bunch of these here. Now, what I could do is quickly drop that down and chop it in half. And then uh, that will allow me to create two beautiful ladders. Sweet! And we'll do the same again. What am I stuck on? Do you know what? I've just realized I've got a bunch of ladders over there and I've never really used them. 
Ah, I feel stupid. We should actually use those. Right, let me throw these up first. So, one there. It's kind of weird. You can't play straight away. you got to like, bring your mouse down and push it back up. Enables you to place. Right, next one. Next one. And because there's lads over there, I didn't realize I had a bunch of those. I completely forgot about them. Which is slightly annoying. Because I, I've been making ladders. And I could have just used all these. So, can I get these up there? So, five in total. So, that's two. Three. And then four. And then the fifth one. We'll take the fifth one with us. And then we're pretty much ready then to go and get a pumpkin. Which I'm super excited about. Because I haven't I haven't seen it. I know where they, where you sell them. They, they sell them in the shack in over the bridge. Uh, but I haven't seen one up close. So, it, you know, it is green. We, we've got, like, the normal pumpkin. We've got the kind of black and purpley pumpkin. And now we're going to have a green pumpkin, which is going to be really, really cool. So that's probably going to be, yeah, I'm quite excited to see that. Right. We're climbing up and up and up to the top of the tower. And we're finally going to get this somewhat finished. Right. Get rid of these two here. Destroy them all. And uh, get the ladders. So we start from the outskirts, work our way up. Why can't I get this on? There you go. That ladder was being very tricky. But we got there in the end. Well, I'm just going to throw them there. Because it's actually quite difficult to get them over there now. Right. And we, we just get them all. Move you. Throw you there. Throw that there. And this. We're going to rotate it. It's going to be nice. So, yeah, it's going to look a little bit weird, this uh, this kind of pillar that I'm building. Have I just lost the ladder? I think I've just lost... No, oh, there it is. I, thought, I almost lost the ladder there. Like that. Let's get the rest of these ladders going up and up. Why are they being so tricky to place a ladder in, like, like here? I don't know why. These ones are going on super duper easy. Right, so the ladder system's just there, just so I can get these up. There we go. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Rotate. Right, lattice, again, ladder system's just there, so I can get the pumpkin on the top. But it looks so good. It looks, it looks really good. That tower is going to stand beautifully. Eventually, uh, I'll try and get these finished as well today, but eventually... We have like neon wires going around all the outskirts of it as well. So it will light it up quite nice. So I need some pumpkins. Let's go get some pumpkins. No, actually, you know what? While it's still dark, I'll finish up those edges that I gotta do. Then we'll get some pumpkins. So let's quickly I'm buying do this. lots of pumpkins. They're here for limited time only. So you know I gotta get them. You know I gotta get them. I've already got one so far. So I'll buy. I might, I might just get four. I don't know. Gotta wait for him to regen on the shelf. So hurry up. Give me the goddamn green pumpkin. I like these pumpkins because green is my favorite color. So throw it in. Are they gonna regen? Yes, perfect. Regen just in time. Right, I'm gonna buy this last one. Now I have finished the balcony on the tower as well. So we're pretty much good to go. It's a little dis different uh, design um, to the others. And if you say, like, Sediac, it doesn't look like this other balcony. It's well, you don't, you fool. Uh, don't worry, it was done on purpose. I want that flat kind of square thing. Because I always wanted it to be like a viewing deck. Look, you can see it in the distance up there. It's it's huge, it's huge. Uh, I want it to be like a viewing deck, uh, deck as well. So when you're like at the top, you can look around. Hopefully it's high enough as well so you can spot those end times. Not end times, what are they called? Um, sp what, what are they called? Spookwood? Is it the spookwood trees? You know, the ones you get like one randomly spawn on a server very rarely up in the mountains somewhere. So it's a good little viewing deck for that as well. You know, so we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. 
Right, we're coming back then. Tower is looking huge. It's like a bell tower, doesn't it? It's like we, you know, if you go to one of those really old European cities and there's like a, a tower with a bell at the top. Kind of looks like one of those. Right, we're in. We're in. I just need one pumpkin. Now, this is going to be the challenge. Everything we've done so far was not a challenge. This is now the true challenge. Trying to get a box all the way to the top. Now, it's easier to do a box than it is to open it up and do a circular object because the box pushes against the actual ladders itself. Right, easy. Easy. And it goes. Right. Ah! Go. Easy. <laughs> well, so he says it's easy. Right, last... Well, not, no, not the last one. I forgot about the other ladder. Oh, no, I found it at the bottom. I'm about to say there is another set of ladders. So let's go, 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 go to the top. Right, I'm at, I'm at the top. Yes, your boy is at the top. So what I need to do then is climb this last set of ladders. And then try... Oh, no! My box pumpkin! No! Well, that's annoying. That's very annoying. I just want to cry. Right, I'm up. Whew. I'm going to open it now. It does look really, really cool. Now, this is actually going to be very, very difficult. So, I've opened it now, then. I'm going to take this easy. No, no big hiccups. There we go. Walk down the... the, the. Ooh. 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 That was close. That was legit close. I'm trying to walk down the thing. This is going to be really hard. Why does this like feel like super difficult right now? Right, what I'll do quickly is move this. Uh, rotate, turn, and create that as a, like a standing platform I can use. No, maybe, yeah, we'll do that. So I can stand on that as I try to place the pumpkin down. Right, there you go. Am I at the top? Yep. Turn! And then try and place this pumpkin down! I did it! Right, sweet. Let's move this. Put it back in place. Try to, why is that rotating where I wanted to go? There you go. There you go. There you go. Right, try and squeeze it back in place. Don't say I've lost it, though. No, sweet. There we go. Oh, it's actually at the top. Um, get rid of these ladders, then. Move them. Put them back on the glass down there. Move. Back on the glass. Hopefully there's, we don't have a storm and the wind blows it off. But where'd you? Look at that. We got a pumpkin on top there. A nice green pumpkin on top of our weird looking bell tower. But how cool is this though? We get to look around now. We can scope out. Seems there any end times trees. Uh, not end times. I keep calling it end times. There, there's spookwood. Can't see any. There is none around. Ah, nowhere, nowhere. But how cool is this though? It looks so good with the green pumpkin. That's looking so good at night. So you can see, you can see the different star that we got set up there. They're more kind of like indent inwards, where these ones go all the way around, which I really, really like that design. It looks super, super, duper cool. But yeah, we have finally built the tower on the base it looks so good if you guys got any suggestions of what you want me to try and build next or what should i try and you know do more progress on on the base let me know in the comment section down below but this is pretty much it for this episode of lumber tycoon if you enjoyed it make sure to like button down below if you're new to make sure to subscribe and until next time i'll see you all soon so good Bye.